Hi, this is Tracy Nappy with Genesis Blogging, and this video is to show you how to embed video into your WordPress blog, or like in a WordPress blog post. Um, I've had a few people ask how to do that, and actually WordPress makes it eh, kind of sort of easy, but there's a couple steps you have to do. Um, you can see when you mouse over right here, there is an add video and most people assume that that's all they need to do and when you click that what that really does is it allows you to upload the video file to um, your WordPress media library so that's all it's doing is it's uploading it to the media library it's not actually embedding anything um, but if you can click and browse your computer or you can you know choose that all that all that would actually do is insert a link to the file. It doesn't embed a player. So um, what you need to do if you want to embed a player, you can go ahead and upload it because you would want to, um, you know, want to have it up there so you have a URL for it. Um, you can click video up here and then choose which video that you want to Im uh, embed. And I'm just going to um, do use this one as an example. Uh, just click something and since it's already been uploaded into my uh, media library it has a file URL and this is the actual URL to the video itself and I'm going to go ahead and copy that and I'm going to come back over here to a post and I'm going to click right here and you see this right here where it says insert edit embedded media you want to click this It kind of looks like a little piece of film strip with green on it you want to click that and here by default it'll choose flash but whenever I put in and there's other file types like QuickTime, Shockwave, Windows Media and Real Media um, when I put in the um, URL it usually auto detects it and it kicks it over to um, to the QuickTime and I usually turn off the autoplay because if you don't then every time your page loads your videos start playing automatically like that one just tried to so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the autoplay but have the controller on there I'm gonna put in here um, a size you can make it it's like uh, the width times the height um, you can make it square you can make it whatever size you want and then you just click insert just like that now when it's right here um, in your visual editor it won't actually show the video um, but if I click um, you know like save the draft or something like that or if I actually publish this post on the web then when you view it on the web you would be able to see it so if I click this and I open it I'm gonna come over here and it's going to show the video and then I can just double click on it and it'll start playing once it actually finishes loading um, then it would just start playing so it depends on which format you've got um, your video in is to um, Hi, this is Tracy see, start a play so anyway that's it that's that's pretty much how simple it is um, you just have to upload it to your media library first then you go over to your media library and you gr copy and copy this URL right here then come back over and hit this little green film strip and then you just paste in that URL it usually automatically detects it you gotta set a size so you can tell it how wide and tall you want your video player to be and publish it and that's pretty much it so not too complicated but an extra step and that little embedded icon right there is kind of what throws people off they usually just do this and that's only going to get you a link Anyway, that's it. That's Tracy at GenesisBlogging.com, and have a great day.